So the first thing we're going to do is go onto this page here. I'll put a link to this in the description below. It's just on the Roland website on the uh, products page for the SPDSX Pro. And all we're going to do is click join now. Okay, this is going to take you to the Roland Cloud page. You don't need to sign up to a free trial or anything like that. You can just literally just download the Cloud Manager. So if you click download there, uh, it's going to take you to here. Download now and you're going to see that pop up there. Uh, this should be fa fairly similar on Windows. Obviously, I don't have a Windows computer to try it out on as well. But if you wait for that to just finish downloading there and we're going to hit the Roland Cloud Manager Installer. It's going to ask if it's okay to install an app from the internet. Yes, that's fine. I think we'll trust Roland in this case. I mean, I've already given such a lot of money to buy this thing in the first place. <laughs> okay, it's going to ask for your passwords there. Okay, so there we go. Installation is complete. Right, so it didn't take too long. It's going to say welcome to Roland Cloud here. Uh, you need to create an account if you don't have one already. I made one last night when I tried this out, so I'm just going to sign in. Uh, it's pretty simple to set up. It'll ask you like uh, to confirm an email address and things like that. It's standard stuff. So I'm just going to sign in there. <laughs> okay, lovely. So let's just close that window a moment. Now we're just going to click over onto library here. You'll see the SPD SX Pro app there. It says it's unlocked, which is great. We're going to hit install there. A similar deal. It's going to ask you for passwords. Very quick to install. And then we have the app, which should appear in our list of apps. There we go. So we have the Roland SPDSX Pro app. Go ahead and open that. And now it's going to ask you to connect the SPDSX Pro to your computer. Now I have a lead here. I'll just show you what that looks like, by the way. It's like a printer cable. If you've got one of these, you will know this already, I'm sure. But it's like a printer cable. So we're just going to plug that into the back there. And as soon as you do that, it's going to say load data and start app. Click OK. Of course, you need the uh, SPDSX Pro switched on as well. And now it's going to give you the ability to change any parameter on your SPDSX Pro. So let's say we want to change a sound. Now, normally we'd have to go into the settings and, and change it like that. But here we can literally use our list of different sounds here. Let's say that I want to put a, uh, a snare drum here on Maple Tom 1. So I can just click onto the snares. I can just pick one and I can drag over there and that's going to change pad 5 and of course it updates in real time on the device as well which is great let's say I want to change uh, sound 2 and we can we can do that let's say we want to put a stainless steel snare and then let's say we want to switch so that in fact let's get a stick you can hear that that's two sounds on one pad there on pad 5 let's say we want to change it so that they play uh, simultaneously for example Okay, or that they want to uh, alternate. You can see it's just much faster than doing it on the device itself. Now I'm going to go through using the app in more detail in some other videos coming very, very soon. Things like effects and changing the pad edit knobs, things like that. More customization when it comes to sound. So please do subscribe if you'd like to find out more about how to get the most from your Roland SPDSX Pro. But I hope that this gets you started, gets it all plugged in, so you can start being creative and enjoying it.